And we're back. We hope your upper body's burning with that circuit from Fuel. I'm here with Jamie J, the new choreographer for the Telluride AIDS Benefit Fashion Show. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for, for having me. Thank you for joining us. So, first trip to Telluride. First time. Yes. How how you go? How you doing so far? So so far so good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've been this high up before, so I'm acclimated with knowing the altitude is coming. Yes, yes, knowing that it will be approaching soon. Yeah. Um, great, so you're from New York. Yeah, Brooklyn, T born and raised. Fantastic, tell us a bit about your start in dance. You started at a very young age and have made it your life since. Yeah, um, I started dancing as far back as I can remember, as five years old, mm -hmm. um, always in front of the TV. My parents listened to music growing up, so music has always been a part of my life along with dance. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I was 19 that I found a classroom to actually learn from a teacher and I was like oh my god this is amazing this is and then I was in college at the time so I scheduled my college classes around taking dance classes Fantastic. fast forward I finished my associates and was like let me pursue this as much as I can mm -hmm. um, ended up starting my own dance company got famous in New York if you want to call it famous yes, but you absolutely. know um, it's nice to know that home still knows who I am and loves me and remembers all the work that we've done with the company. A lot of my dancers mm -hmm. now have gone on and become their own artists in their own right, which is amazing yeah. as being a teacher. Um, started teaching around 21, mm -hmm. been teaching ever since. Uh, recently started choreographing all over the world. <laughs> yes. And this spans from music videos to TV shows to commercials, yeah. the whole gambit. Yes. Yeah. So it's been a fun ride so far. I can. It's fun to now say that I completely work in entertainment only. Mm -hmm. And this has been a dream of mine to travel. So now that I'm not tied down to a job, mm -hmm. I my job is now my career. Yes, that's impressive. And what a rewarding aspect as well to find something you're so passionate about at a young age and be able to turn it into your career yeah. and be able to now from Aspen to Telluride, <laughs> yeah. make this a career for travel as well. Yeah, and it's it's fun up here, and I'm, I'm excited to be here because we did it, the first time I did it mm -hmm. was in Aspen, right? which um, Amanda, who I know is from here as well, yes. she sort of tricked me into <laughs> choreographing. She said, if you come up, the show's amazing, it's something we do every year, and you'll love it. She said, you can stay with me. I said, all right, let me get time off from the job. She said, do you want to send me some choreography? I said, okay. And then I got there, and it was the most amazing time for mm -hmm. that week that I was here. And I was excited when they asked me to come back and be a part of the team for the whole month. Mm -hmm. So knowing that Telluride is where it started, yes. it was, um, <laughs> I always get overexcited. So I had to, like, I'm glad it was through email they asked me to be a part of this one. <laughs> yes. And I was like, of course. And like, so you'll be here, I'll be here the, the duration of the winter. So everyone's like, you're going to Colorado for the winter? I'm like, I know. <laughs> Not where you would think to go for the winter, but yeah. I love it. Yes, good. Well, you haven't, you've been involved in philanthropy and a philanthropic aspect of dance for a very long time um, with Hip Hop Heels. Yes. Can you tell us a bit about that and how you got started there and your continued involvement? Yes, uh, Hip Hop Heels is a hip-hop-based company that teaches deaf teens and adults hip-hop. Mm -hmm. And I got started with it because I took up sign language in college. Oh, wow. I said, I didn't want to talk anymore. I can learn all <laughs> those languages from friends. So from there, one of my co-teachers, uh, she knew that I knew sign language, and a friend who runs Hip Hop Heels most definitely came to class one day, and she just signed to me, and she said, hi, my name is. I was like, oh, my God, it's you. <laughs> and from there, it, it just skyrocketed. Yeah. Yeah, so tell me a bit about your excitement surrounding the AIDS benefit and why this is a project that you're passionate about now. Um, it's one thing, I'm a part of a fraternity as well, mm -hmm. um, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Hi. Um, <laughs> one of the things we do pride ourselves on is community service. And because I have, I know a lot of friends, I've lost friends to AIDS, HIV, mm -hmm. for something to be able to bring this much awareness to it all on a global level as well, like not just here in Colorado, but I know they do work in Africa as well. I, it's important to be a part of something like that for me and mm -hmm. being that I can be a part on such a global scale is amazing. Because 
I feel like we need more people to be aware, to be on this side, to understand the help that we need to give back to everyone that is dealing with it. Absolutely. And important to be involved on a global scale. On a, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well, Starting thank here you. until you ride. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Best of luck. Break a leg. We cannot wait to see what Jamie J has in store for this year's Telluride AIDS Benefit Fashion Show. We hope you buy tickets soon, and we will see you around town. Yeah. Yes, you will. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Telluride TV is a public access channel that depends on public support. We want to give a shout out to a few of our most generous supporters, the Town of Mountain Village, Case, and the Telluride Ski and Golf Company. Now over to Thank Ghost It's Monday, followed by an episode of Yoga with Barbara.